so hello and greetings to the all the viewers today we will talk about ansys workbench and apdl output file interchange so basically we will try to learn how to modify and read workbench file in apdl and apdl file in workbench most of the times we are using both the softwares like ansys parametric design lightweight that is called apdl and ansys workbench so we need to do the changes in both the files so it is difficult for some of the viewers how to do that then in this presentation i will try to show you how to do that changes okay then we will start now so this slide uh, represent the learnings in this video first we will see how to write output file in ansys workbench so what are the formats of that then we will see how to read that output file from workbench in apdl the next we will see how to write cdb files in apdl so be because this is the questions for most of the analyst because they don't know the how to write the cdb as well as other files in apdl then how to read apdl cdb file in workbench so basically vice versa and then one more case we will do how to do the changes in workbench file changes in the sense how to uh, change loading and boundary conditions in apdl and read that in a workbench okay then what we'll do we'll move towards our actual ansys module so there i will try to show through the simple example of cantilever beam so now uh, this is what our ansys module so i will try to model one of the file simple file and then we will learn the remaining thing i think the mo design modeler is already open okay so now i will model some simple cantilever rectangular beam so i will change unit as a millimeter and then like 100 by 100 and the for the same file i will try to extrude that up to 650 mm okay now our file is ready i will try to model mesh i will try to read that file and ansys mechanical so now once the mechanical is open we will try to mesh that and that mesh file we will try to read that in apdl so if you see i will just keep going with the uh global mesh setting so you will find there is hex dominant mesh so not what we will do we will apply here boundary conditions fix support and uh, at this top few modes for applying forces on a node you first need to display them this mesh file uh, here insert you will find if you go first you need to create the name selection create name selection right four says okay now here you can apply the nodal force at respective name selections so i will apply the value in negative 10000 newton so here negative why i had applied okay you can unchoose this so once this is done you can now your file is ready uh, here you will find all the the by default there is a structural still ansys will take and then uh, you will have also have mesh file and you will also have load as well as boundary conditions okay now here if you click on solution go to tools 
here write input file then here uh, you can select your respective folder and there you can write workbench or any I will write a workbench file right and here there are two formats either you can write dot INP file or you can write dot that file so I will write as a dot INP file I will save it so now it is saving now our file is saved in a our directory now how to root this workbench file INP file in APDL so if you go to your custom services mm, in component system here mechanical APDL is the so there are two ways either you can simply drag mechanical window over here or you can separately launch your uh, mechanical APDL launcher from there also you can read the file now I will just right click edit in a mechanical APDL so benefit of doing this in a single take that it will use uh, single sharing license so now let it be open uh, once it is open first we will change the directory change directory and from here uh, I would like to change my directory at my local system and APDL. okay so now it is done uh, I will read that uh, APDL file so if you go to file here read input from and here you will find that workbench file dot INP so just click OK okay now your file is ready to view all us e plot so I will just simply click here you will find this boundary conditions as well as here the force will be there but by default it will not display so in order to see that symbols all applied BC's okay sometimes though you will display all applied BC it will not show but you should not say that the force is not present but in actual if you use the command F list so you will find the forces at the different nodes okay so though it is not in display uh, it will be showing so once you will solve this model solve current ls you will come to know from the deformation itself right so now our solution is done so we will try to see that file the deformation pattern okay now you can see and the same deformation you will going to see in your ANSYS workbench also I will try to solve this model but it will uh, in that case I need to close this APDL file just you can take a look of this that is 5.64 e raised to minus 3 okay so I will close this because it is taking only one uh, license so now I will open this so now I will try to solve this then we are able to see that results so that is the advantage of sharing license uh, you can do that manually also if you want sharing so now if you see here uh, we will see the deformation total evolve at so you can see like 5.6 uh, e raised to minus 3 the same deformation as of APDL now the very next step is uh, we will write CDB file in a workbench and then uh, we will try to uh, first I will see, uh, we need to further read that file file clear I will start uh, first clear all the unnecessary files and I will further read that file Mm -hmm. uh, before that we need to change the directory mm. so you just need to select your respective files and then uh, you can able to 
read input file then uh, you can see that INP okay so what I will do all us e plot close so you can see here if you want to change the style colors reverse video so you will see now what I will do I will show you how to write this file file if you go to preprocessor then if you go to modeling uh, here one option is there uh, where we can archive this model here and then write okay so now here you can find the different formats like when we talk about all associate FES as well as IGS file two files it will include so uh, like that if you want only geometric information you can write this select that if you want only load step option you can select that but I will keep all associate FE as well as IGS file and here you can write like a file APDL file okay so I will write here and here also if you want uh, IGS means step or IGS file you can write that also So our purpose is to see this file. So you can find in our respective directory it will going to write. Okay. So now I think the file is ready. I will exit from this and I will check my directory if it is present. Before that I will drag another system. So that is called external model. So if you drag this here you are able to read your APDL file so not only APDL file but also suppose if you have uh, the files from other directory uh, uh, not from other directory the files from other solvers like Abacus Hypermesh that also you can read the same way so here this APDL file now our file is ready uh, and then I will drag and drop my new static structural module I will drag further to model now I will refresh this update and I will refresh both the so now this is what the channel which will going to be helpful to read the other software's FEF file in a workbench not only CDB but also like INP file from ANS uh, Hypermesh as well as Abacus okay so before that you need to refresh and then uh, you can read that file in your mechanical window I will open it and I will show you I will take one more video uh, for other softwares also so that uh, you will get a confidence on that first uh, I will show you see our file is ready you can find from import summary here you will able to see the all the import summary of APDL right now and here also the name selection uh, which came right and then uh, you will see the boundary conditions uh, which came over here now what I will do I will go to further my APDL window edit in mechanical APDL I will do the changes and I will see if that changes will going to be incorporated like loading and boundary conditions uh, in our workbench so that will be helpful because most of the times uh, we need to do scripting with the help of APDL I will do all us e plot 
right and here I will clear all the loads ls clear comma so you can use the command ls clear comma all which will clear all the loads right now I will use d comma p it means it will I am constraining the nodes okay all degrees of freedom I will constrain and I will use force as a loading condition at the middle of the plane so I will okay uh, here I will use here file and minus 10,000 okay now you will see the three conditions now what I will do I will try to write this file the same way and we will see if this changes are incorporated or not modeling so here go to archive model write file the same way here I will change a PDL file revision 1 ok now I think it is done PDL work is done I will clear and uh, I will try to read within the same day I will browse and I will change this file to this I will update and I will refresh both the decks refresh mm, further uh, there is a need of refresh ok and then I will read that file so now if you see the import summary you will come to the same node count some mesh and uh, here you will see the commands which we use forces and this mpdr data here you will find the further information which is in the form of mpdl these are the commands like uh, which is useful but right now we will see the constraint nodes now if you see the constraint nodes are here and the load at the middle of the section right so if you want to solve this you will come to know that it is deforming at the middle portion now I will extract the results like deformation evaluate all the results ok so you can see so like that uh, we can do changes for our respective files from both FDL as well as uh, workbench in most of the cases we need some help of scripting from FDL and uh, solid modeling with the help of workbench so in the same fashion the other solver files are also used in a uh, workbench because nowadays workbench is quite uh, helpful for most of the analysts to analysis to do the simulation for their respective products now in addition uh, I had also seen the few of the comments from uh, our viewer at grasp injury that they wanted to see how the read CDB file in workbench so that's why I presented that smaller study not only reading the CDB file but also to do the changes and how to see the changes in workbench okay so thank you guys let me know your comments I will be there to help you thank you once again